Oh dear, what is that human up to now? <sighs> Even after all this time, they still do such things. Why must I idly sit by and watch such shameful behaviour? Why am I forbidden from interacting with them? Unless... No. No. I cannot watch this any longer. Hello there. It's nice to finally meet you in person. Oh? Who am I? Ah, where are my manners? I am your guardian angel. Yes, your guardian angel. And I have waited for this moment for a very long time. I see you're quite surprised. But you, my dear human, have already given me enough surprises over the years. I assure you. Hmm? What do I mean by that? Well, how do I say this? I don't want to act undignified or unbecoming, especially at a time like this. I simply want to convey my thoughts in a manageable, acceptable manner. Even someone as troublesome as you deserves respect and consideration, right? Hey, don't give me that look. I simply want to tell you what's on my mind. Nothing more. Is that so difficult to understand? Uh, <clears throat> uh, pardon my rudeness. I should act more appropriate around you. But it's just... What I've wanted to tell you. The many things I've watched you do. The choices you've made. They have affected me substantially over the years. <laughs> it's why I'm so eager to be here before you. Oh? I look angry and upset. <laughs> that is an understatement. You, out of all people, should know why. No? Oh, oh you! <clears throat> you have no idea, do you? But do not fret, young one. I will explain. Now, sit back, get comfortable. I have many, many things to tell you. What's with that look on your face? Don't you remember what I said earlier? I simply want to tell you what's on my mind. I assure you. Is that all right? Good. <sighs> Over the many years I have watched you, many of your choices are, let's just say, less than satisfactory. You've developed habits that are destructive and harmful to your overall well-being. You've denied the fact that these choices and habits that define your lifestyle are somewhat... out of touch with reality and detrimental to your character. Oh? Are you having difficulty understanding what I'm saying? I'm trying to convey myself in a way as clear as possible. What other way could I possibly say this? What, what? You want me to stop talking? Why? Why don't you want to hear what I have to say? It's too important to ignore, especially now. Oh my lord. You know what? Screw this. I am so tired of acting angelic. I'll just say it. What the fuck? are you doing with your life? I'm so fucking done watching you make these shitty life choices. Why? 
Why do you do this? Every single mortal born onto this earth holds such potential. Yet here you are, squandering it with all the bullshit you've done and continue to do. I've sheltered you since the day you were born from demonic evils that seek to claim your soul, and after all this time, I must say, my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. In fact, there are many days where I would alleviate in shame and knowing that you're actually aware of your own problems, yet you choose to do nothing about it. I mean, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is what has happened to me after watching you all this... No, silence you. You must understand the extent of my suffering. I want you to look above my head. What do you see? That's right, my halo. My once golden shining halo, now cracked and dull. And do you want to know why? There came a point during my time with you where it became so hard to put up with all the bullshit you do that I would struggle to get through the day. So, I turned to what you humans call alcohol. Yes, alcohol. Well, I wouldn't call it alcohol. I call it proper compensation for what you've put me through. You would think they would allow alcohol in heaven, but no. Watch over this human, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It won't be that bad, they said. You won't have to drink yourself into oblivion, right? <laughs> and you know what? That's not all. There's more. Look at the state of my wings. Just look at them. The feathers on my wings are turning grey. It's like I'm starting to age. I'm not supposed to age. Angels are supposed to be eternal, you know? Instead, I'm eternally cringing because of you. It's gotten so bad that even other angels notice I'm losing my divinity. A cracked, dull, halo, aging angel wings. They keep calling me a soon-to-be-fallen angel. What a joke. And you know what? I might as well just fall, just to show the depth of my frustration and disappointment. But I would rather not, because I still... I have faith in you. Yes, you heard me right. I still have faith in you. Despite my obvious disappointment, I still believe in you, even if you don't believe in yourself. I... I understand that I was quite harsh with my words. I got too caught up in my frustration. And a simple sorry may not be enough. But you deserve an apology from me, so I'm sorry for how I treated you. Hey, look, I'm willing to give you a second chance. A chance for you to acknowledge your personal issues that you need to address and better yourself. At the same time, I will do the same to pull myself together and not fall as an angel. This way, we can both become the person we need to be. Together. You can do better. I know you can. All I ask is just a little bit of effort, each day. And I'll be doing the same, every step of the way. Does that sound reasonable? Good. Here, before I go, 
I made you a blank list. What did you write? The most important things. And I've already written down the first. You.